What's going on guys welcome to Gizmo Dict and today I am going to show you how to install Mac OS X Mavericks on your Hackintosh PC. This method is very simple and you can even use this to update an official Mac computer like the Macbook or an iMac. Before starting the process there are certain things which you need to know. First you need to have access to a Mac computer running Snow Leopard or above. Then you need to go ahead and download Mac OS X Mavericks from the Mac App Store. It's free for download. Finally, you need to have an 8GB or higher USB flash drive to install the OS. So first we have to create the installation USB and for that you need to go ahead and download UniBeast and MultiBeast from TonyMacX86.com. Be sure to download the latest version since they support Mavericks. The links would be in the video's description along with the full written article of this process. So after you have downloaded UniBeast and MultiBeast, just copy them on your desktop for convenience. Now open Disk Utility and format your USB flash drive. Make sure that you select the Mac OS X Extended Journal Partition. Back up your data from the flash drive because all of the data would be erased. I am just gonna name the flash drive as Mac Installer so I can easily identify it. After the Mavericks OS has been downloaded from the Mac App Store, you will have it in the Applications folder. Keep it there and do not move it. Now go ahead and fire up UniBeast. Click continue until you reach the destinations options and under destination select your flash drive. Click continue and then select Mac OS X Mavericks 10.9. If you are on a laptop, click on laptop support. Then click on continue and let UniBeast do its work. It might show the estimated time to be around 8 or 9 hours but actually the whole process takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Please be patient while the process is done. Once it's done. You will see Mac OS X Mavericks app in the USB drive. Uh, even though this appears to be the same Mavericks app which is there in the applications folder, you need to follow the UniBeast process because UniBeast does a lot of work which remains in the form of hidden files. So after this drive has been created, just copy MultiBeast into the drive because it would be needed to install various kernel extensions and bootloader. So UniBeast installation drive has been created. Now you need to go. Uh, now you need to reboot your PC. Go into the BIOS and select USB HDD as your primary boot device. Reboot your PC and after doing that, you should have the Chimera bootloader screen. The bootloader screen might look a little different on your PC with graphical elements but whatever the case might be, you need to select the Mac installer disk we created. Use any kernel flags if you want to on the bootloader screen. I had to use dash X flag. After selecting the Mac installer drive, you will now see the Apple logo along with the spinning wheel. Be patient as it might stay here for 10 minutes or so. Then you will be greeted with the welcome screen where you can select your specific language. After selecting your language, go to Utilities, go to Disk Utilities and then select the partition you want to install your OS X Mavericks to. You can format your whole drive but I am going to install it on my 70GB test partition. Format the partition to Mac OS X Extended Journal and click Erase. After the drive has been created, return back to the main menu and click continue. Accept the license terms and continue until you reach the drive selection screen. Here you need to select the drive which you just formatted. I am going to select the Mavericks drive. Click continue and now you will see that OS X Mavericks is installing. It will take about 20 to 30 minutes depending upon your hard drive speed. I am going to return back once the installation is done. So the installation has been completed and now you need to reboot and still you need to boot back from your UniBeast drive. This time select the drive you installed Mavericks to. So I am going to select Mavericks drive. Use kernel flags if you want to. You will again see an Apple logo and if all goes well you will be greeted with a Mavericks screen. I am going to set up my system now and I will return in few minutes. So I have completely set up my OS now and as you can see here, when I go into about this Mac, I am running Mac OS X version 10.9 which is Mavericks. So after you have gone through the initial setup process, you need to run MultiBeast from your UniBeast drive, select the text, bootloader, DSDT, system definitions and patches according to your build and you are good to go. The settings would be different for different pieces of hardware. If the app store or the iCloud is not working for you. I will link a video in this video's description to fix it. It is made by CPU Kid who has a big channel related to Hackintosh systems. 
Anyways guys, this was my tutorial about installing Mac OS X Mavericks on your Hackintosh. I hope you can appreciate my effort by hitting the like button as well as sharing my videos. Do ask your doubts and questions in the comment section. Also please subscribe to my channel for more videos. It just takes a few seconds to subscribe. I have also installed Windows 8.1 side by side Mac OS X Mavericks so I will give you a full uh, I will give you a full comparisons of both of these operating systems in a few days. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more updates. Thank you for watching guys. Peace.